Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back, guys, to another quick tip, and this one is how to bypass Mordo's Astral Evade. And what we're doing here is timing out that parry or that stun till just the last second so that we can throw in a meaty attack. For those of you Street Fighter fans will know what that means. It's utilizing a later active frame within the attack that is still registering as a collision and making it less likely for the opponent to counter you because it's already too late and they don't have many startup frames for a counter of their own. Now a general rule for me is to start your attack when there's about 15% left on the timer. Now this can vary where it is, especially when people have different sets of limber at different levels. But at a standard level, I like to do it right here. A good visual is to remember the left point of the parry shield. Now remember, this isn't where you're actually executing the move, this is where you start executing the move. So this gives you time to see it and then react to it. Now again, keep in mind that keep on talking about limber, it's the last 15% of the timer. So if it's going quickly, it's not going to be in that top left corner of the parry shield. It's likely going to be probably sooner or somewhere around halfway on the timer, depending on what level of limber there is. So it really does help you to go ahead and parry first and see what kind of limber level they're at before you start reacting. Oh yeah, and something to keep an eye out for. This is super annoying. I don't know why they can't just keep the debuffs where they are when they activate. The thing is you're moving one on the left and you just keep adding to the left. It should be adding to the right because you are looking at these things and you're relying on these things to know when to attack and when not to attack. And when they're shifting around like that, you can easily lose your focus, especially on something that's so time dependent as this technique. So just throwing that out there as something to keep an eye out for. So anyway, I hope you like this quick tip. It's a little bit longer than the other quick tips, but it's still pretty quick. So if you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share with your friends, share with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky. And I'll catch you on the flip. Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all.